This one feature makes the iPad Pro so much more versatile. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris from Daily Tech, and today we're gonna to be talking about choosing the best iPad Pro 9.7 inch keyboard. Now, like it or hate it, the iPad Pro was meant to be a mobile computing device that could help you get some serious work done. But Apple's official smart keyboard at least partially flubbed the Pro experience, at least in my opinion, by keeping things overly minimal. Now, don't get me wrong, Apple's keyboard does have some cool features and a nice style, but for the better part of a year, I ended up neglecting my iPad Pro mostly because of Apple's keyboard. When I realized that Apple's keyboard might actually be holding me back a bit, I started experimenting with some new keyboard cases and only recently has the iPad Pro started living up to its potential. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as the perfect iPad Pro keyboard case, at least not yet in my experience, because all of them have at least one glaring flaw. Now, Apple's bound to announce some changes to the iPad Pro lineup shortly, but I doubt any of them are gonna change the hardware in a significant way, and I'm sure that these keyboard cases and my observations are gonna be useful for quite a while. Let me start things off by talking real quick about Apple's smart keyboard. It's definitely not all bad. It's super light, the fabric keyboard doesn't collect dirt and grime, and the smart connector is awesome but I can't adjust the viewing angle, so I'm stuck with one viewing angle, and I don't like being limited to having to type on something like a desk. It's also missing some important shortcut keys. I have no idea why Apple decided to leave these off, and it really degrades the ability to get some serious work done as quickly as possible. Also, after testing several different keyboards, I don't hate the typing experience on the Apple keyboard, but I don't love it either. And finally, there's no backlighting on the keyboard, which means typing in dark spaces is definitely less than ideal. Now, luckily there are some decent alternatives out there and I've narrowed it down to what I think are the top two to help make your buying decision a little bit easier. So first up, let's talk about the Zag Slimbook. And this is the case that really made my iPad Pro come to life. The top feature here for me is just the ability to adjust the screen angle exactly how I want it to be. This one feature makes the iPad Pro so much more versatile and lets me do things like type on my lap. And because of that, people who wish their iPad was a little bit more like a laptop are absolutely gonna love this case. In fact, when you open it up and take a look at those keys, it even looks a little bit like a MacBook and hey, that's not a bad thing. Next, there are plenty of shortcut keys and those have greatly enhanced my workflow. I definitely appreciate the dedicated home, search, Siri, and lock buttons. Those keys alone have really helped me get a lot more done considering I don't have a mouse. The backlighting on this keyboard is also great. There's three different brightness levels and also several different colors that you can choose from. And separating the keyboard portion of the case from the rest of the case is really smooth and so is reattaching it. Finally, the battery life here is pretty phenomenal, especially when you consider that it can last up to two years in between charges. So all of that is great, but there are some definite downsides Notably, this case is really heavy, especially compared to other much lighter keyboard cases. Also, since there's no smart connector, that means you have to pair it with Bluetooth, and that's just less convenient all the way around. Now, the typing experience is pretty workable, and I might even like it better than Apple's smart keyboard, but at the same time, the key presses to me aren't super satisfying. If you do a lot of writing like me, something like this can make a big difference. Now the plastic shell on the back of this case is really unfortunate because it looks and feels really cheap. Plus, it's just not gonna provide a whole lot of drop protection. Also, the case is weirdly a bit noisy because it creaks a little bit when you're trying to adjust that viewing angle. And my final gripe about this case is just that it's a little bit hard to open when it's on a flat surface. In fact, I almost always have to open it more like a book. All right, moving on, let's talk about another interesting option, and that's the Logitech Create. Now, this case has actually been available for the larger 12.9 inch iPad Pro for almost a year, and it just recently became available for the smaller 9.7. Now, without a doubt, this is the absolute best typing experience that I've come across on an iPad keyboard. I really like the key travel and the key size, and using this keyboard makes me want to never use another iPad keyboard ever. It's also very lightweight, which is a definite bonus for people who like to travel light. And it's got that smart connector, which is awesome. 
The backlit keyboard is great as well, and it does have three different brightness settings, but you're not gonna get any extra colors like you would with the Zag. One definite standout feature is the built-in Apple Pencil holder, which helps ensure that you're not gonna lose that really expensive stylus. And like the Zag Slimbook, I really ended up appreciating those extra shortcut keys. Unlike the Slimbook though, there are some shortcut keys for adjusting the iPad screen brightness, which I actually found really useful. Now the outer material on the back of this case is really unique and I actually really like it. It's kind of a woven fabric and it's paired with some harder plastic edges around the side of the case. I think it's gonna offer some decent protection and like I said, I really like how it looks. Plus the power and volume buttons are really easy to access and press. This keyboard is nearly perfect for me, but it has one major downside, and that's that it only has one viewing angle. So at the end of the day, choosing the right iPad Pro keyboard case to help you actually get some work done when you're mobile is just gonna come down to personal preference. If you prefer that laptop feel, then something like the Zag Slimbook is gonna be right up your alley. But if the best mobile typing experience is really the most important thing to you, then you can't go wrong with the Logitech Create. On the other hand, if typing is more of an afterthought rather than a necessity, then go ahead and stick with that Apple keyboard. Although, why did you buy the iPad Pro? So take it from me, having the right kind of keyboard can definitely turn your iPad Pro into more of a powerhouse. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to catch up with me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Don't forget to check out Daily Tech, spelled daily, T-E-K-K, dot com, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Later.